Today we'll be learning how to graph polynomial functions. I have a little quick warm-up to do. So here's a polynomial function. f of x is equal to 3x squared minus x plus 4. So what is the degree of this function? Well, the degree is the highest exponent. So here we see that the highest exponent is 2. So our degree is 2, which is an even degree. Now, our leading coefficient has to do with what number goes with that degree. So here we have our 3, so the leading coefficient 3, which is positive. It's a positive value. Now our end be behavior has to do with the degree and the leading coefficient. So an even positive will be increasing on both sides. Okay, so here we have another quick little warm-up. It's just in the factored form rather than the unfactored form. So h of x is equal to 3 times the quantity x minus 4 to the 5th times the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2 to the 3rd. So what is our degree? So we have to add up all of our exponents. And remember that there is a 1 there. So we add up all our exponents and we get 9. So our degree is 9, which is odd. Now our leading coefficient, we look at the number in front of all these terms, and we have a 3. And again, it is positive. And then we think of the end behavior of a positive odd function, and that will be decreasing on the left and then increasing on the right. And now we're ready to actually go ahead and graph a function. So here we have g of x is equal to negative quantity x minus 3 times quantity x minus 1 cubed times the quantity x plus 2 squared. So we're going to look at our degree. And if we remember about degrees, we have to add them up when they're factored like this. So we have a 1 here, a 3, and a 2 which makes a degree of 6, which is an even degree. Then we want to look at our leading coefficient, which is a negative 1. So the end behavior of an even degree negative is going to be decreasing on both sides. So from the left and the right, we're going to be decreasing. Our next step is going to be finding out the zeros. So in this function, our zeros is when the um, parentheses equal 0. So when does x minus 3 equal 0? When does x minus 1 equal 0? And when does x plus 2 equal 0? So x minus 3 equals 0 if we add 3 to both sides when x is equal to 3. If we add 1 to each side here, it's when x equals 1. And if we subtract 2 from each side here, it's when x equals negative 2. And remember, along with zeros, you have multiplicity according to the degree. So we have a multiplicity of 1 here because our degree was 1 when we used x minus 3. When we used x minus 1, our degree was 3, so we have a multiplicity of 3 there. And for x is negative 2, so when it was x plus 2, we had a multiplicity of 2. Now we have to find the y-intercept. We do this by setting x equal to 0. So we're going to find g of 0. So we just replace all of our x's with zeros. So we have negative 0 minus 3 times 0 minus 1 cubed times 0 plus 2 squared. G 
energy of 0 is negative, then 0 minus 3 is negative 3, 0 minus 1 is negative 1 cubed, and 0 plus 2 is 2 squared. G of 0 will be negative times negative 3 is a positive 3, negative 1 cubed is a negative 1, and 2 squared is 4. Now, g of 0 will equal 3 times negative 1 times 4, which is negative 12. So we know that there is a point 0, negative 12. Now we want to go back and use all this information to create a graph. So we know the zeros are at the points x equals 3, x equals 1, and x equals negative 2. We also know our y-intercept. So we can draw in this point 0, negative 12. Then we have to decide <coughs> what's happening. We know that the end behavior is decreasing on both sides. So it'll be decreasing here and decreasing here. We have to decide what's happening at the points on the x-axis and the multiplicity of those values tells us that. Now at negative 2, the multiplicity was 2, which makes it a quadratic. So it bounces back. And it's going to go through that y value, that y-intercept, and it's going to come back to 1. Now the multiplicity at 1 was 3, so it was a cubic. So it's going to make a cubic function through there. And the multiplicity at 3 was linear, which is 1, so it's just going to fall back through. And that is how you graph a polynomial function. Now I'd like you to try this equation on your own. f of x equals negative x squared times x minus 3 squared times x plus 1. Remember that you need to find the end behavior, the degree, the zeros, the y-intercepts, all of those things to help you graph. Thank you very much and good luck.